Hello, my name is Sean Fish. I'm a rising fourth year computer science major at Georgia Tech, and in this video I will be discussing the propulsion system of our new autonomous surface vehicle, or ASV for short. This new ASV, called the Measure Once, Cut Twice, is our auxiliary testbed vehicle and is not intended as our primary competition vehicle. Instead, we intend to use this vessel for testing new ideas and onboarding new members. This function is incredibly important for our continued function as a club, as our main competition vehicle is rather large and difficult to transport. This new design will allow us to easily work with ROS and low-level electronics without the need to carry a lot of supplies, though it will not be able to take advantage of many sensors due to its limited weight capacity. The propulsion system is composed of two heavily modified 1100 gallons per hour bilge pumps. These converted bilge pumps are rather popular among ROV enthusiasts, or remotely operated vehicle, which are underwater remotely operated submarines. They are popular because they are, they are already waterproofed at the factory and are rather cheap as well. They are mounted with a construction of foam and foam bore laminated in flex seal liquid and are set to operate with differential thrust. That is to say, when turning, the two motors produce opposing forces to facilitate rotation. This is unlike our main ASV designed for 2020, which uses a holonomic motor configuration to move in any direction without the need to pivot the boat first. We utilize an L298N motor driver board to control the speed of the bilge pump motors. As a side note with no relation to the competition, we've also been investigating the use of a wing sail controlled by a rotating platform and quadrature encoder, though this has yet to be tested. To reiterate, this ASV would not ordinarily be used in competition. Our intention for this year was to finish the 2020 ASV, which is still awaiting final assembly due to the situation imposed by the pandemic. As vaccine rollouts proceeded, we would have worked early in the summer to finish construction. In the case this were not possible, then we would have utilized the previous ASV that we used in 2019 and 2018. In the case this vehicle were needed in the competition for some reason, it would be able to take on the nav gates, though the limited weight capacity would limit its performance in the other categories due to less space for computers and sensors. It's important to mention that our team has been hard at work on a hydrophone system in UAV to complete the pinger-based and object delivery tasks, though these would be utilizing the vehicle we developed last year. This auxiliary ASV has been through a pool test. The propulsion system did have an issue during testing, however. The differential thrust worked as expected and the vehicle was able to turn and go straight in both directions with ease. However, thrust could only be sustained in bursts of several seconds. It is suspected that this is caused by a high frequency pulse width modulation or PWM signal being used to command the dual H bridge motor driver. This high frequency may be causing the driver to overheat as it was observed to be quite hot. This high frequency PWM was intended to reduce coil whine in the motors though other methods may need to be used in the case that they are overheating the H-Bridge motor driver board.